Hey, this is Valerie Love. How are you? So I'm sitting here contemplating the nature of the universe. <laughs> Not really. This is what I really want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you today about the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on humankind. The greatest hoax ever perpetrated on humankind. And here it is in a very short capsule that there is anything, anything outside yourself. That's the greatest hoax perpetrated in all humankind. That there is any world outside yourself, that there is any that there are any people outside yourself, that there are any circumstances outside yourself, that there are any conditions outside yourself. Everything that you see outside yourself is an illusion. It is the world of Maya. It simply is not real. It's a mist. What is real is what is inside you. Now we look around and we see, but how can you say that? Because here comes the man or the woman and she beat me or he beat me or he betrayed me or this one cheated on me or my mama was drunk or my daddy was abusive or I have heard many, many, many countless stories of how people have perpetrated things on people. In my work as a, a spiritual life coach and as in my calling as a minister. And I will tell you the God's honest truth. None of that is real. It is all a projection from the inside of yourself. All of it. All of it. And anytime you want to change any of it, all you do is go back to where the projection is emanating from. The projection is emanating from in here. All the power is inside you. Now, all the mystics have told us this because Christ, as he walked this planet, who is my prime teacher, my primary mystic that I follow, that I love, that I pay close attention to. And Christ said, greater is that which is in you than that which is in the world. Greater is the power inside you than anything out here. That's a clue. That is a clue to the inner workings of the universe. And if we take these clues that are left by those who are wiser than ourselves, let me just say wiser than me, we will find peace, we'll find comfort, because we will understand how the law truly works. There is nothing outside self. The greatest hoax is what your five senses are reporting to you. It's not real. So let's go to the Kabbalistic tradition. In the Kabbalistic tradition, we are told that the senses, the sensory perception world is 1% of reality. 1% of reality is what can be picked up by your five senses. The other 99% of reality cannot be perceived by the five senses. Don't be fooled by what you see out here. It's a mist. It's Maya. If the thing can change, it's not real. What's real is what's in here. What is in here? Spirit. God. The one. Changeless. The word tells us, I am God. I do not change. And you can test this for yourself. Don't believe anything I say because I don't need believers. I'm here to share. Test this for yourself. Turn within and you will find the same thing every time. Close your eyes and turn within. You'll find the same thing every time. You will find timelessness, eternity, infinity, never changing, forever in the now. An eternal stillness and eternity that never changes. Open your eyes. Oh, something just changed again. Somebody came. Oh, somebody left. Oh, a different car. Oh, a different house. Oh, different clothes. Oh, different friends. Well, this thing out here keeps changing. That's a clue that it's not real, boo. <laughs> it's a hoax. And as soon as you stop allowing yourself to be sucked into the hoax and carried hither and thither by the change changeableness of it, you will find yourself changing all the time, all the time, all the time, because you're being whipped about by circumstances. What a horrendous way to live.
Ask me how I know. I used to live like that. Not anymore. I close my eyes. I turn within. Here's the timeless, eternal, changeless, breathless, deathless I am. Never changes. Open your eyes. Ah, you are now more able to see that all this stuff out here ain't real. So if I see something out here that I don't like, I'm not going to fight with it. No, I don't want you. No, stop it. No, I want more money in the bank. No, I want <laughs> a better mate. No, I want better health. Oh, I see you. Okay. I'm going to close my eyes, go back within. Aha. Uh -huh. What is this? Because that's where you're going to find the origin of the thing. In here. You can't find the origin of the thing over there. That's a hoax, boo. Don't keep being perpetrated, letting the hoax be perpetrated on you. You came here with a phenomenal destiny to live a phenomenal life. You came here to master yourself and your environs. You came here to be the master of matter. You didn't come here to be whipped about by matter. You came here to master matter. And some of us have chose the path of magic for that. Some choose the path of yoga. Some choose the path of meditation. Some choose the path of service. Some choose the path of Buddhism. Some choose the path of Christianity. Many paths. The same thing. Oneness with the one from in here. That, my love, is the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on humanity. Do not continue to participate in the hoax. Know that what you see in the outer world is a reflection of what is inside you. Hermes Trismegistus, the mighty, mighty scribe of the gods from ancient Egypt said, as above, so below, as within, so without. As above means as above in your consciousness, so below means on earth, that's what will manifest. As within, so without. Some have called it the law of correspondence. Some have called it the law of compensation. Some have called it reap and sow and you shall reap. Whatever, some have called it karma. Whatever it is called, know that the whole thing is originating inside of you. The origin of your entire life experience is inside you. The sooner you say yes to this and accept full ownership and responsibility of everything that shows up in your world and stop blaming it on that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, mom and daddy, this one, that one, the other, the other. As soon as you own it and say, this is my creation. Okay, I get to play with this on the inside. You turn within and you ask the timeless, changeless, deathless, breathless, what is this? The timeless, deathless, changeless, breathless, birthless I am was ever been, forever been here will forever be here, is here now. What is this I'm looking at? You're looking at guilt. Oh, I have guilt. Guilt created this. My guilt created this. Oh, what is the solution to guilt? Holiness. Oh, yes, I'm the holy child of God. I'm the holy child of God. I'm the holy child of God. Holiness, holiness, holiness. My holiness is my salvation. Lesson 39 in A Course in Miracles. Oh, I'm holy. I'm holy. I'm holy. You feel holy. You use the holy water. You use the holy bath salts. You use anything that you can find that reminds you of your holiness. And all of a sudden, you begin to feel holy and you feel holier and you know that you are holy and you know that you are the holiness of God itself manifested on the human plane. No longer do you feel guilty and you see that inside you, the guilt is disintegrating. And at the same th time, that thing outside you is disintegrating. No need in fighting with circumstances. No need in fighting with circumstances. Stop it. No need. That, my love, is the greatest hoax perpetrated on humanity. I'm Reverend Valerie Love. This has been delicious. I love you with the love of God. And I pray that you visit me online at ValerieLove.com. Come to one of our upcoming events. We got retreats that we do all the time. I have several books that I've written. Thank God. Thank God. I'm blessed and honored. I want. I don't want to say I'm prideful. I have several books that I've written. I want to say I'm honored to be the author of, uh, at this point, over nine, bo nine books on practical spirituality and how to live a magnificent life from the inside out. Be blessed.